Well, I had the famous Cheddar Red with me. Um, I was on my show a couple of years ago, I believe. It was about two years ago, right? Two years ago, yeah. So, let's find out what happened in two years in Las Vegas. Where have you been? What have you been doing? In, in Las Vegas. Um, I put out <laughs> my, my first album. Yes. Um, it's out now on all streaming sites. And right now I'm working on the second one. Okay. It comes out November 19th. So, I'm, Are very, you excited? Exci I'm very excited. Did it very come out excited. the way you wanted it? Um, nothing ever happens the way you want it to. Oh, but, it does for me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I won't do it. But this, you this gotta do it the way you want it. Yeah, this Keep Vegas pushing it. Two album is much more, uh, more personal. It's more me. It's more. Is it you only you? Chatter. Um, I got a few features on there. Um, I got Hitman Beats and Deez De Nero. Um, oh, you got quite a few people. And on Lucky there. Two Times. Just those few. Just those few on there. Yeah. Um, when you bring out a, what do you call it, a CD or a, what do you call this? Um, this, pa this last one was an EP, this one will be an album. This is an album, okay, yeah. I gotta get, they changed names, so I gotta make sure I get the right name for it. Right, right. Okay, so this album, how many songs are on this album? This, song, this album will have 11 songs on it. 11 songs on yeah. it. Now, you know, I always get worried about albums because a lot of people, you have two or three hit songs which are fabulous, right? And then all of a sudden they put all these songs on that you, you got to listen to, but they're really not that good, right? Isn't it better to bring out an album? I guess it wouldn't be an album, though, would it? With like four or five songs that are really good than a whole album of eleven that are half and half, right? Right. Well, that's how my first one was. My first one was only seven songs, which is the EP, yes. an extended play. So it was, you know, I, I put a nice amount of, you know. Nothing but good songs on it, yes. as far as I'm concerned. Yes. You know. But um, moving forward, okay, I wanted that, to do that, something that's bigger. That's very interesting, Cheddar. You just said songs that I like. But you're not going to listen to them. You've got, you, don't you want to do songs that the audience, that your, your yeah, club, your but it's, it's, it's followers... Also what I come to realize, um, being an artist, you, you have to do it for yourself a lot of times because everybody's not going to like it. You can't make everybody happy. Well, no. And then you're not true to yourself once you're trying to feed everybody the songs that they like. Well, yes, but you have to like, yeah, I agree. You have to like it yourself. Right. But then also sort of sort of evolving the universe with it. Right. Because th this day and age is the universe. You're not just reaching the next exactly. day. It's reaching the universe. Absolutely. So when you have to reach the universe, which we're talking about Asia, we're talking about Europe, we're talking about the Middle East, and then, of course, America. Right. So, is that where your song goes? Um, yeah. Hopefully. This, this album right here, um, I'm very personal on it. It's, it's kind of like a transition. It's pretty much talking about me going from being uh, uh, in the streets and being a player to settling down and getting older and, and having one woman and, you know, kind of committing to I a love, situation. I love all those, having one woman. I thought... We only already had one. I have one man, you have one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I got something a little wrong. <laughs> okay, well, I'm well, that's evolving. That's <laughs> we've all had that, evolving. Um, so you're, you're rapping, right? You do right. the rap songs. absolutely. So your rap songs, um, obviously, they, they always relate to a story. Um, do yours relate to your stories and things that happen to you? Right. Or as well as relating to what you see out there? Absolutely. Um, some songs um, are totally personal and then other songs are just things that I've seen and experienced through life and just things that I've seen. So, so you put them into rapping? Right. You right. got a rap for me? You want, you want a little rap? I want a little rap. Can I have a little rap? Since everybody watching, trying to see what we on, we live on the couch. I'm chilling with Nino right up in the corner. You know how we do. I feel like Elvis when I'm sitting in this booth. And it's right off the head. Ain't nobody doing better. Number one stunner, Vegas baby, Cheddar Red. Yeah. I love it. You just made that up. Right off the top of the head. Right, see that? I love that. Right off the top of your head, because that makes you, you are a performer. Absolutely. So, somebody, so if you walk into an office and there's a producer there, I say, hey, listen, do something. Oh, we're going to make it happen. We're going to make, make it, it happen. I'm make always going to, you know, display what I got. So. Well, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it clean. Let's keep it clean now. Let's keep it clean now. <laughs> so are you uh, working mostly in Vegas? Or are you in, in Los Angeles? Are you in New York? Um, Where I'm, are you? I'm mostly based in Vegas. I do do shows in California and Arizona from time to time whenever 
Um, I'm booked there, but for the most time, I'm here in Vegas. And how are you finding business? Are you Are getting lots of, of, of um, work? Or? It, could, it could always be better, but it's, it's okay right now. So would, how, as you, Cheddar Red, how are you going to make it better? I'm, I'm, I'm doing everything I can. I'm doing every interview and every... I'm, ta I'm tapping in with everybody. Because you I'm trying got, to you touch up, every corner. you got to up your grade. You've got to up Absolutely. yourself. So perfection... I don't, I don't know if a rapper you would call it perfection, but I would think it's a perfection the same as any other trade, any, yeah. other, any other business. I look at it as like um, painting a picture. Like when I, when I record yes. a song, it's, it's, it's not like any other song that you're going to hear or any other song that I'm going to do again. Yes. And even one take, I can never do it the same way. So it's just like a stroke of a brush. I can't, I can't That's take that back. He's a always, absolutely. He always has his way, but each stroke is different. Exactly. Absolutely. Right. So what would you like to happen now in your career? What would you like? You've um, got your, your new CD, your new album coming out. Right, my new album coming mm -hmm. out, 11, 19, 19. I would like, I would like a lot of, um, you know, just support from Las Vegas. I'm, I'm the Vegas baby. I'm representing Vegas and just trying to put the word out there in a positive way, in the right way. Um, a lot of people hear rapper and they think, oh, he, you know, he a thug. But I don't really talk about killing people or you know, nothing thug. like Have that. Have you been known to be a thug? No, no, not known to be a thug. I'm just saying that's the bad, you know, image that rappers get. Just oh, you know, really? off top. Off the top, they get as a yeah, thug. just like a, yeah. just like a rock star. A rock star, you automatically okay. think they do drugs and party all night. Yeah. So, but not all of them are that way. So. Well, I guess a lot of people think I do a lot of things that I don't do too. So I guess it goes right. around. You right. know, everybody gets that. If you put yourself out there, you've got to expect it all. Absolutely. So it's got to be what it is. And you've got to have that challenge. You've got to keep strong. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what message would you like to give to all the rappers out there, the younger generation of rappers coming up? Um, watch watch the, the, the message that you give off and keep on going never give up if that's what you want to do continue to do it don't don't let anybody discourage you or down talk you away from your dreams continue to follow them and chase them yeah and i i have to ask this question because i see so many rappers and so many people in the entertainment business wear glasses oh yeah what is this thing i mean you never that's, that's part of my that's part of my thing you want to you want to look into my soul <laughs> but that's part of my thing i always wear shades see look Look, 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 Even look, look, we got a cover. face, we got eyes, we got a face. <laughs> and he did that for us. Absolutely. And he did that for you out there as well. Absolutely. Because uh, well, I often wonder all that they wear glasses all the time. Sometimes you want to see someone's face. Right. I do like the look of glasses, but yeah. at the same time, so he doesn't mind taking them off on, 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 on it's television. Not a it's There's not, a, not problem. a problem with you. That's amazing. So, so the younger generation and the new upcoming rappers, our singers, our entertainment, Stick to your guns. Right. You Stick know? to it. Stick to what Absolutely. you what you what you want to do and how you want to do it. How can anybody reach you, Cheddar? Um, I'm pretty much everywhere. I'm on all major streaming sites, uh, iTunes. Um, That'll be under Cheddar Red. Absolutely. That's all he uses. D D A R E D D. Um, just Google me, I guess. Google Cheddar Red. I'm everywhere. Google Cheddar Red, and he's right there. I want to right. present you with this Vegas baby oh, shirt. Look at this. It's just for you, Nina. Oh, I, will, I love it. And I, I love appreciate the you uh, inviting me again. You're so sweet. I appreciate it. Love it every time. All right. Vegas, baby. That'll be me. Absolutely. <laughs> it's Vegas, baby. Thank you, Chad. I'll be you. back.